A ton of lip service gets paid to translating racing technology to road cars, and there were high hopes that when racing's Premier League introduced kinetic energy recovery systems curves, our Priuses and Volts might be joined by Uber Cool Green performers. It hasn't happened yet, at least not for folks shopping in the sub-million dollar market. Well, the Renault Nissan Alliance aims to put its F1 budget money where premium brand Infinity's hungry mouth is by introducing a fire-breathing Q60 range topper featuring a two-motor performance hybrid drivetrain developed in conjunction with the Renault Sport Formula One team and using the exact same strategy behind the two-motor generators that boost the seasons are S.17 F1 race car, if, when it does. It will likely be the first production car to feature electric exhaust energy recovery. That's right, the two motors on this car don't go where everyone else puts them. The traction motor, generator mounts to the end of transmission, powering the rear wheels directly. The other motor, generator attaches to the turbocharger, helping spool it up instantly to eliminate turbo lag at low engine speeds, then at higher revs. When the exhaust is barging through the turbine at full whack anyway, it works as a generator by siphoning off a bit of electricity and sending it to the battery. No solid estimates of power and to work were provided, but the 400 horsepower twin turbo V6 will carry over virtually unchanged from the Red Sport 400 model. The hybrid gear will need to add at least 25% to that, or it's not worth doing. So figure 500 horsepower minimum. The rest of what you see in the concept car being unveiled this week in Geneva is a best guess launching point from which the serious development work can progress. Infinity's executive design director, Alfonso Albiza, walked me around the project Black S and the R.S.17 to point out design influences. Besides the serious yellow accents on the Q60's calipers and the rear edge of its wing, the road car's deeply sculpted forms that frame the grille were inspired by the vertical air deflectors just aft of the front wheels. The racer's carbon fiber ground plane inspired the road car's front splitter and body side rocker extensions, and the racer's many whiskers and flicks inspired the forms and the fender air extractors aft of the front wheels. The rear diffuser and wing aim to significantly increase rear downforce, and they might indeed do the job as presented. But Albers acknowledges that today these forms have only been subjected to rudimentary computational fluid dynamic analysis. Real wind tunnel work might render the final pieces unrecognizable. The concept wears matte gray paint and 21-inch forged wheels wrapped in 245-35R21 Pirelli P0 tires all around and it features a lowered suspension. It also employs a slick-looking center outlet titanium exhaust system, but all such details will likely be revised during what we're told should be a two-year minimum gestation period for this beast. When it does arrive, look for pricing competitive with similar AMG and M offerings.